Hello and happy new year. Welcome to the January 2024 episode of Monthly Update with Minog. Our first episode of 2024 takes us to the nationally recognized Clark Street Community School, where the curriculum is about diving headfirst into challenges, empowering students, and equipping them with the skills needed to thrive in an ever-changing world. So I'm really delighted today to be joined by two current Clark Street students and also uh, an alumni um, of Clark Street Community School. Thanks so much for spending some time with me today. Um, this is the time of year when families and students are making their decision about their high school experience. So why do you think um, students should be really investigating and checking out Clark Street um, as a high school option? I'll start with you, Matthew. I think that they should um, look at Clark Street because um, it's definitely a different experience, but I think it's worth taking the uh, the chance on that different experience, especially if you're thinking about like going to college. One of the things that are very helpful is, uh, you know, we constantly do this revision process with essays and like writing. And that is like the number one, like important thing in both, like you're in college, the amount of essay, essays I write. I uh, <laughs> am glad I went to Clark Street and I have like better writing skills coming out of it. So um, I think people should uh, really take a look at it. Um, just because of all the amazing community and, and teachers and everything. Great. Give us an update. Where are you right now in school? I am at UW-Madison currently. Uh, I got a scholarship. I'm in first wave, hence the hat. Um, uh, and uh, it's been a good time. I'm an international studies major, uh, and there's like three different tracks. I'm a policy um, and global economy kind of track. So. I think all the educators who knew you as a student here would have predicted <laughs> That's exactly where you'd be right now, so congratulations. All right, what do you think? Why should our middle school students or other students be really investigating Clark Street as a high school option? I think that our staff works really hard to make Clark Street work for everybody, no matter where they're at or their learning style or interests. Um, I also think that Clark Street students are more engaged in their learning because they can focus more on their interests and because of our interdisciplinary um, seminars. and. As Matthew was saying, it definitely helps set people up for college. We use a mastery transcript system, and um, that just gives a more comprehensive look at the learner and is able to just show more about who that person is um, as a whole. And it also helps students to stand out in that college applications process. Perfect. How about you, Ruby? What's your advice? Um, I think something that Clark changes like almost your perspective right away about taking your own initiative. I think that was something really different that I really liked. I have my own ideas about how I want to do things and I feel like Clark has really allowed me and to focus on what I want to learn about not just reading a textbook or taking a test. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, Ruby, Raylin, Matthew, thank you so much for joining me today. We're so fortunate as a district to have two exceptional high school options that our families can and students can learn about and investigate. So I really encourage you to take the time to get to know Clark Street so you're making a really good informed decision um, about your high school experience. Now let's check in with the achievements that ended 2023 and exciting things starting us off in 2024. With minds as sharp as pencils, our middle school spelling bee superstars buzz their way through an annual wordy showdown. These students will compete against 40 of the top spellers in their respective schools. They will be representing our district at the regional spelling bee, which will be held on January 24th at Stoughton High School. We have full confidence that you'll spell spectacularly represent our district proudly. A huge round of applause for Middleton High School senior Koji Heineman. Koji has signed with Marquette University to play tennis. He has been one of our top boys tennis players at MHS over the past few years and has left an incredible mark on the court. The entire MHS community wishes you the best as you enter this new chapter of your athletic career at Marquette University. We're thrilled to share Middleton High School senior Estella Hazrick is one of only four youth ski jumpers nationwide to qualify for the USA Youth Olympic team. Estella takes on the world's best at the 2024 Winter Youth Olympics, set between January 19th and February 1st 
in Gangwon Province, South Korea. Her journey is one of dedication, skill, and perseverance. Let's cheer for Estella as she represents our nation on the Grand Olympic stage. Extra, extra, read all about it. West Middleton Elementary proudly presents the debut issue of their school newspaper, West Middleton Today. Discover captivating articles that feature everything from the exotic world of bearded dragons to interactive activities that will spark curiosity and bring joy. Explore stories and discoveries brought to life by our young journalists. Don't miss out on the vibrant spirit of West Middleton Elementary. You can stay up to date with each publication on the West Middleton website. the Cromery Middle School 7th Grade Choir and the Middleton High School Concert Choir. Recently embarked on a musical adventure, spreading joy to each of our district's elementary schools. Staff at the District Services Center was also treated to an amazing performance. Thank you so much to the Cromery Middle School 7th Grade Choir and the Middleton High School Concert Choir for your amazing performances. Over the past five years, our district has seen a significant increase in students whose parents require Spanish interpretation. As we embrace the diversity within our community, we must ensure that language never becomes a barrier to our students' academic success. Today marks an exciting step forward as we introduce our new language support specialist, Ari Aranda. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome Ari to our district. Welcome. We are so happy that you are here and that you've joined our team. Uh, would you mind just sharing a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, as you mentioned, my name is Ari Aranda. I am a former educator, a teacher in the medicine uh, area. Mm -hmm. I taught there for about two years. And what attracted you to this position? I felt that uh, I could continue my passions by really uh, focusing on helping my community through language, through communication. Having you here is really going to help us better meet the needs of our families and our students. So on, on behalf of our entire district and community, welcome. Thank you so much. Absolutely. In January, we proudly honor our Board of Education members who dedicate themselves to shaping the future of our district. Each member brings their unique experiences and perspectives to the table. Their commitment to our students is unwavering. They work together to ensure that decisions are made with our students' future and safety at the forefront. To our esteemed school board, your dedication doesn't go unnoticed. Your efforts, fueled by a spirit of teamwork and a passion for education, contribute immeasurably to the well-being of our students, our staff, and our community. Thank you. That wraps up our January 2024 monthly update with Minogue episode. We thank Clark Street Community School for graciously hosting us and providing insights into the incredible school and its vibrant student community. Thank you all for tuning in. As we step into this new year, may it be filled with growth, learning, and endless possibilities for each of you.